Once you've determined that a company is worth reaching out to, whether they fit your ideal customer profile, are already a customer ripe for some upselling, or would be a great partner, we provide you with an array of tools to prioritize and organize your data. In this video, we focus on the lead feeder action buttons found within each individual lead. For those of you who don't currently integrate lead feeder to any CRM, our Assign button is particularly useful because you can mark this company as assigned and everyone will know it's being taken care of. The person assigned also gets notified by email. Just choose the user from the drop-down list and then write an optional message for the person to receive. You can now see that it is clearly marked as assigned with the people icon and specifically to Carol. If things change, you can always unassign and reassign to someone else. Please note, if you didn't see a particular person in the drop-down, it means they currently aren't a user yet. Just click on Add New User and invite the person by email. Then from there, you can immediately assign them to the company. The next action down the list is the Email button. This allows you to send the visit details to anyone, including non-users. Just choose someone from the drop-down or manually type in an email address and click Enter. Then, write an optional message or just click Send. Within the email, you'll see details including company name, location, industry, when they visited, how they found you, and what pages they viewed. The next lead feeder action that you may see will be Send to Hangouts Chat or Send to Slack if you have either of these integrations set up. If you do, when you click on this action, the company details will be sent to the channel of your choice in your Hangouts chat or Slack account. You can also set up a default channel in your integration settings to save time from having to choose a channel every single time. The Follow button basically adds this company to your followed list of companies. When you mark it off, you'll see a star icon. And going forward, you'll be notified by email if the company revisits your site. The frequency will either be on a daily or weekly basis, depending on the settings you choose within your Followed Companies feed. Next, adding tags is a convenient way to categorize your companies and clearly recognize it going forward. You can add multiple tags to one company, and you'll see it show up on the left side company list or within the actual company card itself. To add new tags, just click Manage Tags, type in a description, and choose a color. You can even take it a step further to create a custom feed based on tags so that you can quickly pull up a list of companies that include or do not include certain tags. Lastly, if a company is not relevant for your organization, you can choose to hide it so that it doesn't show up anymore or count towards your quota. Just click on the Hide button, choose the reason, and click Hide to confirm. As you can see, the company immediately disappears from your list and all the historical visits associated with it as well. You can always see a record of your hidden companies in your website settings. From there, you can even decide to unhide a company by clicking on Show in Timeline again. Please note, all historical visits for this company won't appear again. Rather, if the company revisits, we will show new visit details going forward. Have more questions? Feel free to reach out to our support or browse the many helpful articles and videos in our Help Center.